Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a yes-no pivot table. If you're interested and intrigued, then uh, follow along and let's see how this goes. Here we go. I've created two pivot tables, both off the same data set, off my data tab on this table. And they're both tied to the same timeline here, and I've done that using the report connections options so that uh, anything I do to any way I filter one of the tables will filter both of them. And I've also incorporated the option from a recent post that I did called show items with no data. So if you haven't seen that, uh, please take a minute and uh, watch that one. And that will uh, kind of help explain some of the things that you might see on this post. But what I want to do, and the reason I've created two pivot tables, is so you can see the difference uh, between the two when we change one to just a yes-no pivot table. So the key here is just changing the format of the data on the pivot table to a custom format that will show yes or no. So how we're going to do that is click anywhere in the second pivot table, right-click and go to Value Field Settings and Number Format. And we're going to go down to custom and we're going to create a new custom format. Now with formatting there's four sections to a number format. The first section is positive numbers, the second is negative, the third is zero, and the fourth is text. So I want the positive numbers to say yes, so I put that in quotes. And then I separate that by a semicolon. Now, if I don't want anything to show for negative numbers, or in this case, I don't have negative numbers, I can just leave it blank. But if I did, maybe I wanted to put in credit. Then for the third section, for zero, I'm going to show no. And I don't have to put a fourth section. I can just leave that blank um, for text. And now I'll say OK and OK again. Now, notice everything changes to yes. So anywhere there was a positive number, it'll change that to yes. So if I filter down to a single month, notice any place that there is a value, it shows yes down in the pivot table below. Now why doesn't it show no where there are blanks? Well, the key is, if you remember, there are four sections. The first section is for positive numbers, the second for negative, the third for zero, and the fourth for text. Right now I don't have zero, I have blanks. So I, ha I have to activate another option within Excel, and that is going to the Analyze tab, choosing Options, and in the format there's a checkbox for, for empty cells show, and I'm going to put a zero in here and say OK. And now notice any place that was blank up here reflects a zero down here, but zero is formatted to show no. Now let's say you just wanted to show a no where there was no values. How we can modify that is go to Valued Field Settings, Number Format, choose our Custom, and here we can actually eliminate the first section where it had yes for positive numbers. I can eliminate the second section where it had credit for negative numbers, but notice I still need to keep the semicolons to show that this no reflects the third section, which is for zero. I'll say OK and OK, and now it'll just display no where there is no values when I filter down my pivot table. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.